What's up, YouTube? Jay Nantastic back here again with Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. This is the closed beta time. And what I wanted to do is just talk to you guys a little bit about some of the things that I'm most excited for that I have learned from the beta. Some of the stuff you guys might have already known about or people might have already talked about or it might have been speculated about. But I'm just going to talk about some things that I learned from the beta that uh, I'm really excited about. So, just... Uh, Jumping right in here, there's there's so much good stuff. The beta is incredible, especially for a beta. There are definitely bugs. There are definitely, definitely bugs that we've ran into. Some of them are really pretty big, game-breaking bugs, uh, as far as, like, fighting other uh, characters online. Um, but in terms of, like, the story mode, the beta, the hit detection, all that stuff is phenomenal for a beta. It's really, really, really good. It's really, really tight. Uh, they've already fixed a few bugs already, things like that. So things are going really smooth. So this is One Punch Dan. For those of you that don't know, I told you guys that I'd be starting out with an Earthling character, a human character to begin with. This is him. This is One Punch Dan. Uh, he's an Earthling. He's pretty sweet. He's wearing uh, Chaozu's upper uh, clothing. And then he's got uh, Yajirobe's uh, sword on his back there, which is pretty freaking cool. So starting out, things that are really cool. And this is going to be just stuff that I learned. This is going to be stuff that uh, that I finally experienced for myself, I guess, uh, while playing the beta that uh, I'm really excited for moving forward, especially into the full game. So kicking things off, Canton City is phenomenal. It is amazing. Uh, you can look right there. You can see the statue of my Saiyan character that I transferred over. Uh, moving around is really great. Now, I can't fly yet. You can't fly in the beta yet. You can't get your license, your flight license. You have to get a flight license, which I'm, is, you know, is part of the story mode to be able to fly around and explore the city, but you can get on this hoverboard, which is crazy. You can move around so much quicker than you could in Xenoverse 1. You're not just, you know, stuck to be on your feet. Like, look how fast I'm moving. It's got some brakes on this bad boy going on right here. Uh, everything is super open. The world is crazy open. I mean, you can go, like, anywhere, pretty much. You can call your... Uh, your little hoverboard back in at any point you want to but like look at this i'm scaling a mountain right now like it's uh freaking skyrim uh you can even like you can fall off the map which is pretty crazy so if i just jump off of here whoop, there we go so there's there are very few uh invisible walls uh which is really cool you can go to like all those places up there like you can go up on top of that mountain all those little floating squares uh, are the little, they basically teleport you to other parts of the map that uh, have stuff going on, different parts of the story, uh, different NPCs, that kind of stuff. Um, but the city is like really open and happening and it feels like a spacious happening place. It's not like a really cut off, walled off, Every time you want to go somewhere else, you got to go through a loading screen. Like right here, you can see. So here are offline parallel quests, online parallel quests. There's the online offline battle system. There's a bunch of people standing around right here. The news board is right there. You come over here. There's your Toki Toki hero statue. Here's all the shops. They're all right next to each other. Everything is really nice and compact, which is great. Um, you go up that way to enter like the world tournament and stuff. The time nest is up that way. Uh, and then of course, I think some of the stuff is walled off for the beta. I think if I try to go this way, yeah, see, there's a, there's a wall right there. Can't go that way. Uh, but most of it for the, for the most part is, is like wide open. Look at, uh, look at Shinron in the background there. Like how freaking cool is that? That just looks so exciting. So that is, uh, one of the really cool, exciting things about the new game is just the, the complete open world. This stuff. Look at this. There's just random stuff lying around everywhere that you can pick up. Um, there are so many people to interact with. The layout is, I don't know, it's beautifully designed. I'm, I'm in love with the hub. I love the hub. The uh, the hub from Xenoverse 1, I never really liked to begin with. I mean, it was fine, like I, I've talked about before. It it it, ser it served its purpose, uh, but it was definitely not great. It was like it was only there to serve its purpose, <laughs> and then that was it. Um, this hub, on the other hand, is actually really great, especially if you're in a, uh, a multi uh, a server with a bunch of other people running around. It's really, really cool. It functions really well. Uh, let's see. Some of the other stuff that I learned about. Oh, transferring your character. I know that a lot of you guys are curious about that. Uh, when you transfer your character over, you get to pick whichever character slot you want to transfer over. So whatever you have set on that character on your list. So for example, on my PS4, I had Nanpa Shitoku uh, from my very first uh, playthrough on the PS4, which is the Frieza Race character. I had my Saiyan, which was just named Jade Antastic. I had the, the Majin Bay character, which was the female Majin character that I had. And then I had Broccoli that I had created. And I could choose any four of those that I wanted. And anything that was equipped on any of those characters, when it was time to transfer, though, it comes over. You only get to pick one, but whatever is on there transfers over. So if you take a look here, this is One Punch Dan. If I go into Customize, you can see if I go to Change Equipment here, 
that I already have the Wii Symbol Battle Suit and I have all of that because that's what I transferred over. And if I go into my skill set right here, you can see that I transferred over uh, things like, I think the only thing that I have attached right now that I transferred over was Victory Rush and Angry Shout. So there's that right there. Uh, some other cool things that people might not know, the Power Pole Pro, Super Saiyan 3, Golden Form Frieza, all those transformations, those are available right out of the gate. So that's really cool. So the Power Pole Pro, I didn't have to do anything to unlock that. It's in your inventory. It's not equipped right away. You just have to go into your inventory and then you can put it into your Awoken skill slot right there and you immediately have access to it. Um, let's see, some other things to talk about. Oh, so... Uh, nerfed moves and things like that so i know drain attacks people are really concerned about drain attacks drain attacks are still in the game you can still use the drain attack if you want me to i can show you right here if we go to change skill set and i go to super dragon fist i can put on super drain super drain is right there that's another move that i transferred over from my previous save to this game uh, so that i have access to it right away however it has been severely nerfed um, it still works. It still drains stamina. It, it drains like one and a half, maybe two bars of stamina. You get about one to one and a half bars of stamina back. So instead of getting like, you know, three, four bars of stamina or completely draining the other person's stamina, it's, it's, you know, it's nerfed, which is great because they were kind of broken in the, in the last game, especially with Kaioken builds, things like that. Um, so that's really cool in terms of balancing stuff. Uh, that is really, really great. Uh, the transformations feel great. The power pull is... I love it. I know a lot of people are still kind of skeptical about it. I wish I could do offline battles right now, but you can't do can't do offline battles. Um, so maybe if I just hop into... Let's see. If I do... Maybe I can try to get into an online battle here while I talk. Um, the, the transformations are great so far. Everything has felt really smooth and balanced. Um... I'm going to do with limitations. I'm going to talk about that in just a second, too. Uh, but the, the Super Saiyan 3, you know, you don't get key back if you're in Super Saiyan 3. The power pull, if you get hit uh, a decent amount of times, you you fall out of it. Uh, the Golden Frieza, I haven't really found what the, the limitations for Golden Frieza are yet. Um, but at the same time, really, the only thing that it adds for you is uh, you get... Um, really crazy fast key blasts coming at your face, which are really great. Uh, they're really good for creating space and things like that. Um... But so far, everything has felt pretty balanced. There hasn't been anything that's kind of crazy. I did run into a person earlier who was spamming counterattacks. That was kind of annoying. Um, so I think spam might still be a little bit of an issue on certain... Um certain aspects certain areas of the game until we figure out you know what else can be done in xenoverse 2 to kind of counteract uh those you know spammy like attacks that are kind of warranted to be to be spammed um some other things that are pretty cool uh you had there's a tp buying system now so you can actually spend your tp medals on uh clothing skills moves and things like that so instead of spending you know seventy thousand zinni on one attack, you can drop, uh, you know, seven TP medals instead, and you can earn those from playing online. Um, I, you might be able to earn them while playing through the game. I'm not 100% sure on that one yet. Um, some of the, I didn't mean to teleport like that. Uh, let's see, what else have I found out that is super cool? The hit detection is phenomenal. It's so smooth. Everything hits uh, like it's supposed to. I, I, I've had like maybe two issues. Uh, but this is literally just the beta, guys. Like, this is this is the first day. The first day is not even over yet. And the hit detection is so great and so smooth. It's actually insane. It's insane for how good the hit detection is in this beta. Uh, even if you're... Um, you're uh... Ooh, that's going to do some damage. Okay, it wasn't that bad. Uh, even if your connection isn't even top-notch, you know, like a 5-bar connection, even if you have, like, a... You know, a 2-3 bar connection, it's still pretty freaking solid. If you have a 1 bar connection, you can kind of tell a little bit, uh, but it still works out pretty well for you. Is that going to work out? Yep. Um, so, you know, that is really, really tight. Uh, I the, can't really speak on the new characters yet, just because um, there aren't a ton of new characters available to play with. Obviously, there is uh, Turles. Um, he's pretty fun to play with. Zarbon is pretty fun to play with. Uh, Dodoria is kind of trashy, in my opinion, uh, to play with him. <laughs> 
Um, but so uh, the other cool things that are in the game are the uh, limitations or no limitations in battles. So what you just saw here, this was a with limitations battle. Basically what that means is that both characters are on a completely fair level playing field. So you can see right there, items unusable, levels not in effect. So it puts both players on the same exact level playing field. But it doesn't matter what level you are. It doesn't matter what your attributes are set on. It doesn't matter what your clothes are. Your health is the same. Your stamina is the same your key is the same everything is leveled out so it's completely balanced out now there is still a little bit of a, a difference there uh, if you guys saw my video earlier from uh, playing with rhyme style he got a cyberman uh, and I was just another original character and it did make a difference the cyberman was still you know fairly weak in terms of you know damage taken and things like that so uh, but it was definitely better you have a much better chance of playing with a cyberman in Xenoverse 2 than you did in Xenoverse 1 if you get a cyberman in Xenoverse 1 you might as well just forfeit the fight and start a new fight Xenoverse 2, if you're a pretty top to top tier skilled player, you might be able to pull off a W with it. Uh, it's not great. It's still going to be pretty difficult, but it is doable. But uh, I think it's really cool because that way you can play with original characters. You can play with your created character. It doesn't matter. You pick anyone you want, and you're going to have a level playing field. Uh, other cool things about the beta, it does a really good job of kind of showing you what the story mode is going to be like. Uh, if you don't want to know really what's going on in the story right now, you can go ahead and leave this video. I'm, these aren't really spoilers. I think most people know about these for now. Um, this is fairly, you know, early on in the game and stuff like that. But we did see uh, Future Trunks shows up with the previous Time Patroller, who is your character. Your character from the previous game has a cameo there if you load them in. Uh, Supreme Kai of Time and Elder Kai are here. Uh, Toa and Mira are still the um, the people that we're after. They're working with Timebreaker Bardock. He has a small appearance. Lord Slug is in here and Turles is in here. And it looks like Toa and Mira are actually in cahoots with um, Lord Slug and Turles. They're working with them. And Timebreaker Bardock is hanging out with Toa and Mira. Uh, so you get a little bit of glimpse of, uh, of what's going on with the story there. Um, a lot of the cutscenes and things are uh, rehashed, but that's kind of be to be expected a little bit. A lot of Dragon Ball Z games have done that in the past. They reuse a lot of the cutscenes, and that's because the cutscenes are modeled exactly after what happened in the show. So changing what happened in the cutscene would change what happened in the show. Um, so there are certain crucial points that stay the same, but that's just kind of understandable, I guess. Um, it would be cool to see a different take on them every once in a while, but at the same time, that doesn't bother me too much. Um, let's see. The the Z souls are gone. Um, there are... Oh, there is the... Uh, you can't do it in the beta, unfortunately, but there is the QQ bang, and I figured out how the QQ bang works. So basically what you do is you combine uh, different articles of clothing and you can even combine certain items. So you can combine clothing and items and you create this QQ bang item. And then that way, whatever you're wearing on your character. So right now I have Chaozu's clothes, Time Patroller jacket, Time Patroller jacket, Yajirobe's katana, it doesn't add any stat effects or anything like that. But what it does is it, it uh, nullifies all of the attribute bonuses that my clothing has and it takes those away and you get the attribute bonuses from the QQ bang. So that's kind of how you customize your character. So you wear whatever you want and then you uh, equip the QQ bang and then that will give you your um, your uh, you know your, your stat effects. You're uh, higher in health and higher in damage or higher in strike attacks and, and lower in key attacks or you know whatever it is. But that's, that's how the QQ bang system works. So it, that is explained in the beta. You can't test it out yet but it is explained there. So you can wear whatever clothes you want, create the QQ bang and I think the QQ bangs are actually pretty powerful it actually said that with having a QQ bang attached is actually better than having just like four normal pieces of clothing that give you boosts in different areas um, so that's actually really cool I'm excited to learn more about that but at least we kind of know how that works and that you can customize your character there a little bit uh, the beta gives you a full look into all the five different races, whichever one you want to create. Uh, whether it's Majin, Saiyan, Earthling, Namekian, or Frieza race, uh, they're all pretty cool. The uh, giant Namekians are a little bit hard to deal with up close and personal. You definitely need some kind of ranged attack to deal with them. Uh, but they're definitely manageable. Um, let's see. Some people said the human is OP, the Earthling is OP. I haven't really found anything to be exploitable with the human yet as far as just normal gameplay. Um... But uh, I, I definitely love playing with the Earthling. The power pull is pretty fun. Um, actually, here, let me see. I can do um, some more power pull gameplay just kind of while uh, I'm finishing up here. Uh, but that's so that's and that's pretty much it. All you can do in the beta, you do some of the. Um, you do some of the storyline stuff. You do the six v one stuff, which is actually really really cool. The way the six v one stuff works is uh, excuse me is. Um, 
you have a team of six. Uh, there's a boss, but the boss can do special stuff. So the boss can actually uh, it can take over your mind, and then you kind of have a mini game where if you're the one that gets taken over, then you have to go into uh, you, basically your mind, and you fight yourself in your mind, and you have to beat your own character to come back to life so that you can re-engage in the fight. Uh, or there's the there was the Turles 6v1 where uh, Turles does, uh, he, he basically sends you into another dimension. You have to defeat the enemies in that other dimension, and then you come back and you break these crystals and those will release your teammates and then you can come back and you can finally fight the uh the actual enemy right there um so that's pretty cool too i'm gonna get my nimbus cloud out here real quick um so so all of that's pretty cool you kind of get a, a gauge into look into all that stuff um, so here's the power pole gameplay again. I love it, man. I, I think it's really cool. Some people think it looks kind of underwhelming. I think it's pretty sweet. Um, so there's there's a bunch of cool stuff uh, going on in the beta. Um, I finished all the story modes and all that kind of stuff. I think I have a couple of more parallel quests to do. Uh, but I'm going to probably finish those up tonight and then just keep playing the beta. Keep doing the ranked thing. Um, you know, keep playing online, that kind of stuff. Having some fun, doing some random battles, that kind of stuff. Um, hopefully maybe playing with some viewers if we can squeeze those in I want to do some more streams I streamed for three hours earlier today I'm gonna to be streaming again tonight um, so make sure you come out and hang out with me there uh, but yeah it's a ton of fun really really great so far especially for the beta there's definitely some stuff that they do need to fix uh, pre-release but uh, from what I've seen so far I'm, I'm absolutely 100% in love guys and I'm not like I'm I promise you that I'm not just saying that it it really is great I, I know that you have to get your hands on it to, to fully understand what I'm talking about um, but it's just just for a beta it's so great like the final release of this game is gonna be nuts um, if you guys have any questions or anything um, that you want to know about in the beta that I didn't talk about in this video or if there's anything uh, that you're kind of unsure about that you would like to see me cover or anything like that let me know with the comment down below if you're super duper hyped up and you want to see more xv2 content make sure you drop a like on the video because uh, there's gonna be more content whether you want it or not it's gonna be coming for your face holes uh, <laughs> as always make sure you hit that subscribe button stick around with us have some fun and as always I will talk to you in the next video later.